Good afternoon, Poké Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 7 video, bringing you a very, very requested wall rain team. Now, this week, I decided to go ahead and put up a poll here on YouTube to see which Pokemon you guys wanted to see this week as, like, a rental code, and for some reason, the vast majority of you really wanted to see wall rain, so here I, ha here I have a weakness policy wall rain team. And I'm going to see what I could do with it. So my thought process here is pretty much treat this as if it is a Lapras. Or the Lapras that I have used in the past with my Crobat team. So we have Crobat here again with the Absorb. It did so well with the Lapras that, hey, maybe it'll do something with the Walrein. I'm hoping. This is a physical Walrein, by the way, with the weakness policy. And uh, what's great about this Walrein is that it's actually max speed. Jolly. Uh, actually, it's not max speed. It's enough speed to outspeed Dragapult in uh, in uh you know in the tailwind which is why the crowbats here just for tailwind and for weakness policy procs which is really nice as well so moving on with the rest of the team we have the heat rain here just so that we have a very solid fire and steel type we have the Grisselia because it has levitate it has the option of changing uh, the the trick room or putting us in a more favorable speed tier it also does have helping hand which helps with the team by clapping its hands how does the Grisselia clap its hands like Something like that. <laughs> anyway, moving on with the rest of the team, we have the Urshifu because Urshifu is broken. We have Rillaboom because Rillaboom is broken. And then that's the team. We'll see how well this does. I do have very strong Pokemon to give uh, give Walrein a little bit of a backbone. So, hey, maybe I'm cheating, but let's see if Walrein can do something. If you guys are excited, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button down below for Walrein. And let's get on to these battles. Now, I never see Gastrodon in the ladder. And of course, the one day I'm deciding to use a water Pokemon... With weakness policy, that, that's the day I see Gastrodon. Interesting that they're running Gastrodon on the same exact team as Dracovish, since those two Pokemon don't really want to be next to each other. But this team is interesting in general. Like you never see Vikavolt, you never see Claydol. Um, so I got I got my my work cut out for me here. For sure. Um We go Crobat, we go Wall Rain anyway. We bring Rillaboom in the back to deal with the other water types, and I think this might be a heat rain in the back too. That's what I'm thinking. It could be Urshifu as well, but I think Heat Ran is just more optimal against the Ferrothorn. And I think it's like almost necessary against Ferrothorn. Um, the thing with Wall Rain though is that I'm covered for pretty much every single lead that my opponent goes for. I'm gonna be very cautious about going for water moves though. I might just always go for go for ice moves until I see that Gastrodon is not in the game anymore. But all in all, I think Walrein, this is actually the match for Walrein. <laughs> Believe it or not, this might be the actual match for Walrein here. Now, Walrein is not the most offensive Pokemon in the world. It's actually not offensive at all. It's only like 85 base attack and like 95 base speed. Not speed, special attack. So, uh, it says I'm going physical. <laughs> I'm not going to do a lot of damage unless I get this weakness palsy proc. And even then, I don't know if I'm getting some straight Okos. I might get some, eh, some meh Okos. Chandelure and Vicavolt. Um, It's kind of an awkward situation to put myself in here. But I feel like the Vicavolt has to go away as fast as possible. Problem is, I don't really know how to KO it. I could also taunt the Chandelure, assuming it's going to be some, like, Trick Room thing. Uh, because I have Iron Head. I don't actually have a ground move here. I, I was considering putting Rock Rockfall here as well. Let's just set up a Hailstorm. And see if we can take out a Vicavolt. Like, my opponent clearly wants to set up Trick Room on their side, but that's not the end of the world for me. They have very slow Pokemon on their team, but not the slowest. And Walrein is also not the fastest Pokemon in the world, especially if I don't set up my Tailwind here. So that should be fun. Theoretically speaking, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a very interesting turn. I love seeing this thing so big, guys. I I talked about this on the podcast, but for some reason, like Walrein has always been a special Pokemon for me. I don't know why. I always thought it was special or rare in Generation Three, and I know it's not. But for some reason, in my brain, it's cool because it gets its own cave. Dynamaxes, Vicavolt, I'm in danger. Um, that is not what I anticipated. 
I am very terrified. That absorb's gonna do no damage. I, and I should be outspeeding the Vigavolt. But this Vigavolt's probably Solvested. Not that it matters, because I just remembered I'm physical. You go for Psychic! Okay. He crits me on the Psychic. Different. My only hope is that they double down into this, uh... How much is this doing? E not even half. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Walray. Can Walray take this? Walray is a champion. What the heck? Okay, perfect. We are sitting nice and pretty now, folks. We are sitting nice and pretty. Um. Oh no, never mind. It's not the end of the world, though. We broke that potential sash, if it had one. Getting some chip damage off on you, too. I think we gotta go Heat Ran. I gotta light my boy on fire. I'm also a little bit cautious. Against this, um... Against the Chandelure for obvious reasons. I think I'm going to take this turn to Earth Power the Chandelure and I'm going to max guard this. Because I feel like the Chandelure could just hit me with whatever it wants and I might be in danger there. Because I never got my Tailwind up. They went really hard into my... Into my Crobat. With the crit. Which might matter because that's like a non-stab. I understand Chandelure's base special attack is like a thousand. But th that's still a crit. Brought me right down to Focus Sash, too. I have a lot of HP investment with that Crobat as well. But hey, whatever. We're going we're gonna to go for the Max Guard here. Going to go for the Shadow Ball into the Wall Rain spot. Expected that. Um, Hopefully, we are going to have enough damage here to KO the Chandelure. Nice. We're a Heat Ran. Cool. And now, hopefully, they decide to double into my Wall Rain. But I highly doubt, you know. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. Very, very nice. Because now I can go for Heat Wave. And now I can go for a max uh, Hailstorm again. Well, it depends. Do they switch into Gastro here? Just to threaten my uh, threaten my Heat Run? If they don't put in Gastro here, I can go ahead and assume they don't have Gastro, right? There it is. Okay. They have the Gastro on. They're trying to scare my Heat Run. Guess what? Um, Heat Run scared. Heat Run very scared. I'm going to... I have the Rillaboom in the back for the heat for the Gastro. I'm not too concerned with Gastro. I'm gonna Heat Wave. Actually, no, I should protect. The good thing about Gastro is that it's slower than my Wall Rain, and I know that one more Hailstorm should be enough to KO this uh, Vic Vault. And the Vic Vault probably doesn't have to protect because it's a Soul Vested. Which is another reason why there's no point in going for going for the Heat Wave here. It wouldn't actually do anything. So that's an Assault Vested. Vic Vault will probably just take it. So I might as well just try to protect my my dude over here for one more turn. Get rid of his Vic Vault. I'm so surprised that Trick Room wasn't even an option for my opponent that first that first turn. They totally had the opportunity to do it. Anyway, Hailstorm. Will we see Walrein KO something? That's what we like to see, boys. Walrein. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Earth power? Not today. Not today, sir. Now, let's see what the last Pokemon is as we get a little bit more chip damage on the Gastrodon. Like I said, Gastrodon is not a concern. Ferrothorn. Okay. Real talk, this Ferrothorn is a concern. A lot more than Gastron. Ferrothorn probably protects this first turn, so I'm actually going to hard swap into the Rilla to take the Earth Power. And then I think I'm going to go for the... Yeah, probably just a straight-up Icicle Spear onto the Gastrodon, assuming that Ferrothorn is protecting here. I want to try to burn the Protect on the Ferrothorn, just so I can make sure I get a Fire move off on it eventually. Now we'll throw in my Rillaboom here, just to change the terrain and to eat up whatever move this Gastrodon wants to do to me. No Ferrothorn Protect. I am going to connect with the Icicle Spear, which does do a sizable amount of damage to the Gastro. 
Oh, look at this. Are we gonna get the five? Two more? Wall rain? Wall rain! <laughs> we don't even need Rilla! Wall rain! Taken out the gastro! Wall rain best counter the gastrodon, period. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. And now all that's left is a Ferrothorn with a Heat Ran in the back. I think we're nice and solid boys. Just for the sake of this game, we can save some time here. We'll double swap, go into Heat Ran, and then go for the Icicle Spear into the Ferrothorn. See if we can get another 5 Pete. My opponent is not forfeiting yet. They're not giving up. But I'm also not going to waste our time. I could have sat there until my, uh, until my guy just got knocked out naturally, but we're not doing that. Is this the double five Pete? Is this the five Pete twice in a row? No, four. Iron defense. Yucky. Yeah, that's why we switched out. That is definitely why we switched out. The hail stops, not that it matters. Iron defense is actually going to make my Icicle Spear do less damage, so I guess it does matter a little bit. If I miss one Heat Wave, my opponent could actually have this game. This all comes down to a Heat Wave miss, which is why my opponent hasn't forfeited yet, because this is still a very possible game in their favor. Because I'm pretty sure I don't take one Body Press, so I need to connect with this Heat Wave. I'm going to keep Icicle Spearing just for the heck of it. But it all comes down to this heat wave. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. GG. We're taking the game. Wall Ring with its first miss uh, victory in Master Ball there, man. <laughs> that went a lot better than I thought it was. I'm not going to lie. I really just anticipated that Vigil Bolt to tear through the game and me be very sad. Anyway, next battle. Okie dokie. Zapdos is not something I want to see right now, boys. <laughs> Zapdos, a little bit terrifying, not gonna lie. Just a tad. Because Zapdos can deal with literally all of my team. So it, it's probably gonna be a brain for them. Because I have two flying weaknesses and two electric weaknesses. Um, and I took a Vigavolt Max Lightning. I don't know if Walrank could take a uh, Zapdos Max Lightning. But I guess this is uh, the best place to find out, right? Instead... What do we do against Zapdos? Because, like, Wall Rain is necessary to the victory of this game. I do believe that, especially against the Landorus. We could always just go Crobat, Wall Rain. Bring in our Rillaboom in the back to take an electric move, and then bring in the Heat Ran in the middle. Just because we need something to deal with the Metagross. I mean, we could also just bring in the Urshi as well. Maybe just Trick Room this game. Because their team is very fast. Mm, I'm not convinced. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll just hope that for some reason Beto doesn't realize that Zapdos can destroy my whole team. Could always bank on that. But no, Zapdos, if my opponent doesn't bring Zapdos to this game, they're just trolling me. They're trolling me really hard. They might also be looking at Walrein and be like, what is this poor man doing? They're just handing out wins? Nah, dude. Lando Grimm. Wait, hold on. We're, wait, we're fine. <laughs> what? We shouldn't be fine. Why are we fine? Intimidate's not going to matter because Inner Focus and Oblivious. Get wrecked. Um, now what do we do? We can taunt the Grimm. We can Tailwind. And then we taunt Grim. We Dynamax Hailstorm. We have anything to lose by doing that? Maybe we go for the Geyser instead because the Hailstorm is obvious. At least this way you get some neutral damage if the hard swap is on the... Uh, what's that Pokemon? Metagross? We get some neutral damage off. And we get the rain set up. Uh, that's pretty worth. Yep, there's a hard swap out on Landorus. 
Landorus had no business being right there, and there's the Metagross switching. Nice. So we get nice max geyser off on this Metagross. We get uh, the taunt off on the Grim. So if this Grim is doing any, like, uh, I don't know, shenaniganery, we could stop it right here, right now. Uh, my only hope is that it doesn't have a jack button, and it's not going for a jack button. Because if it switcheroos and gives me the eject button, then I'm a little bit... Ooh, yucky, 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 sir. That's bad. Oh, full incense. It took my weakness policy. You dirty, dirty man. Okay. So we'll always be going last. That's a little not great, but at least it wasn't an eject button, right? That's good damage. That's a 2 KO if I proc weakness policy, especially in the rain. So I'm I'm kind of okay with this. There's still nothing that either one of those Pokemon can do to my wall rain, and the fact that they still didn't bring Zapdos is making me very happy right about now. I'm going to go for the Absorb just because I really have no reason to go for anything else. And I'm just going to keep firing attacks into this Metagross spot. Yeah, that's my best play. Metagross protects. All right. Just trying to solve my Dynamax there. That's fair. I respect it. We'll break my own weakness policy with Absorb. And Spirit Break. I am physical, sir. Haha. <laughs> I am physical. They still don't know. Oh, yeah, they have no idea. That's how Wall Rain's OP, guys. They have no idea what I am. It does no damage, but it's fine. We'll take it out next turn. Um, I actually don't know if I should bother setting up Tailwind. I could set it up for the rest of my team, or I could just start firing off Brave Birds. Let's set it for the rest of my team. And let's Max Geyser get into Metagross. This way we cover for any potential switch-ins. We also have to pay attention to the taunt turns. Gotta make sure we don't allow this Grimmsnarl to set up too many, uh... Too many Reflex or, you know, any of that stuff. Reflex light screen. There's a Rock Slide. I will not be doing too much. He's, he's committing to not Dynamaxing his, uh... His Metagross, which is fine. He's not Dynamaxing Metagross, he might be Dynamaxing his, um... His Zapdos in the back, though. I really wish I can get rid of this full incense, though. Because this was, like, my one... My one way of really hitting the Zapdos hard. And the problem now is... Oh, he has no Zapdos! He's trolling me! Okay. Wait, Rillaboom could just win this game on its own. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like the way this sounds. I like, I like the way this looks. I like the way this feels. This is a great time to be alive. What do we do now? Um, let's taunt the Finny. Let's go for a, a liquidation in the rain on Grim. This is where we're going to show them that we're actually physical. <laughs> he might just be thinking that wall range is OP, man. Okay, protect. Perfectly fine. He's just gonna keep going for his spirit break. See, my goal here is to just knock out this Grim if I can. This shouldn't take us out. Wall range just taking every hit, man. And we're just gonna show him the liquidation. Like, you've been doing nothing this whole time, sir. That does not do a lot of damage, though. Grim shakes off the taunt. We should probably taunt it again, huh? Um... Yeah, we're kind of in an awkward situation now with Wall Rain. I think Wall Rain just kind of, kind of exceeded its shelf life. Just let it go down. He sets up the Reflect here, which is smart because the rest of my team is pretty physical. I'm gonna taunt him just so he doesn't do anything in the future. Just trying to future-proof myself here, and then followed by Muddy Water. Does this take me out? We live in boys. We live in at two with Wall Rain. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Now we are kind of in a pretty good spot. Let's kind of want to absorb just to get some health back, but instead I think I want to taunt on the Finny. Just trying to set my uh, set my team up. Okay, I'm. I, I just kind of want Walrein to go down, as mean as it sounds. Sound like it. I just want both of my Pokemon to go down essentially. But hopefully we get the taunt off on the Finny first. Dang it. It's going to keep doing that. Like, I don't know. I'm not really afraid of Finny. He might think I have cross poison, but I just don't. 
I have absorb. <laughs> my attacking move is absorb and brave bird. He's gonna go for the spear break onto my crowbat. So I'm gonna get one more attack off on this Grim. And I'm actually going to take out the Grim with the liquidation. That is justice. Wall rain with the double KO this battle. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, now all he has is the Landorus, which means I can go in with Heat Ran. Which I think I will. Just so I don't get intimidated. Because I don't want my Rilla intimidated here. I might even protect and then just let my... I'm just going to let my Wall Rain go down, right? Like, Wall Rain... I love you. I love you, guy, but you did enough. I'm going to protect here. I'm going to go for the Icicle Spear just on the off chance for some reason. Wall Rain does not get hit this turn. <laughs> Being forced to move last. That'll be phenomenal. But it's definitely like an EQ, right? Rock Slide. Do we dodge? Wall, Wall Rain, do you dodge? Nah, Wall Rain doesn't dodge. Imagine Wall Rain dodging the Rock Slide and the Muddy Water there to get the KO on the Landorus. My mind would have been blown. Goes for Calm Mind. Okay, dude, I got Rillaboom. That's cool, man. I got Rillaboom. Did he just lock himself on the Rock Slide as well? Because if he did, we're in a very good position. I don't think Finny could take out the Rillaboom. I think Finny definitely protects that turn. Since uh, my opponent has been very, very... Uh, they've been very conservative with their Finny so far. So I think I can go ahead and assume they're going to keep doing that. I'm just going to fake out and flash cannon into this Landorus. Oh, they have Dynamax left. Wait a minute, sir. That's not good. Okay, good. Dynamaxing Landorus. That's a lot better than Dynamaxing Finny. But, um, I think I lost. <laughs> I just remember they didn't Dynamax this whole time. Yikes. Finny did protect, so I didn't make the right-ish play. Assuming that it would protect. But it looks like now my, uh, my Rillaboom will say Sayonara here. Yeah, rest in peace, Rilla. Oh, that's a GG if I've ever seen one. I should have... Uh, I couldn't have done anything there. I had... No, I could have. I could have protected with Rilla. Oh, that's a big old rip. Yeah, there's nothing that my land, my, my heat rank can do there. Ah, Wall Rain didn't get the chance. Wall Rain didn't get the chance to KO the Landorus early on. That's the serious problem. Anyway, um, we need a double protect here to even have a chance. But even then, I don't think we have a chance. I'm going to protect just for the heck of it. They also definitely choiced, by the way, because they uh, Dynamax there just to unlock themselves. The thing is, I think even if I double protect, I still die to the next Quake. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the double protect, but... With how high this Finny's special defense is and how, uh, and how terrifying this Max Quake is, I think that might be all she wrote. What actually messed me up the most this battle, believe it or not, was probably the full incense switch, which is why full incense is such a problem. Especially if you accurately predict the Dynamax. We get the double protect, though. So the RNG is trying to help me as much as it can, but I, don't, I still don't think we live this. We live at 18. Now, the only thing we could hope for is Rock Slide misses and Muddy Water misses. But even then, I think my opponent just goes for the, like, rather simple. Why even bother call Minding Man? He's not a plus two. Probably goes for the rather simple, uh, Moon Blast, right? Moon Blast might take me out at plus two, even though it is four times effective. I mean, four times resisted. Yeah, right now my only hope is... Super Duper Omega Heat Wave? <laughs> I don't actually win this ever, in any scenario. He- Why even protect, man? Why even protect? What do you think I have? 
No, he just has heat wave. Oh, I mean, he just has earthquake, so he's not locked. All right, cool. He was assault vest the whole time. Rip. Rest in peace. Full incense. Dumb. Yeah. Wall rain couldn't carry us through that one. It'll carry us through the next one, though. Reggie, Drago, and Sableye. Sableye could definitely put some uh, put some holes in our plan. And the Reggie Drago can uh, could be some serious issue as well. What do we do here against Reggie Drago? That's such a rough one. Okay, let's go for Crow. Let's go for Wall Rain because we have to match a Tailwind in case they go for the Tailwind. Um, that's Sableye, man. That Sableye is gonna be a serious uh, hole in our plans. I do think that. Maybe this might be a game for Heat Ran because there's not a lot of ground moves on his side of the field. Just really has his own Heat Ran to deal with my Heat Ran. And then we could just bring in the Earth Shooter to deal with his Heat Ran. We'll try that. We'll try that. Like, my biggest issue would be a Sableye Drago lead because then he could just quash and, you know, do Drago things, which would not be ideal. Man, I could always just avoid that by taunting the Sableye and then calling it there, because no Sableye carries Mental Herb. Another one that's a little bit annoying is actually that, um... That Volcarona. What is that doing there? Struggle Bug? I'll be just Struggle Bug all day. I don't actually have a Rock move on this team, so maybe that'll be something to consider. We just have Rock instead of... Instead of Iron Head on Wall Rain. That's probably the one thing I would change about the Wall Rain. Like, after playing these couple of battles, like, there were just multiple situations where I would really love a rock slide. Okay, um, good news. Good news. We just had to match their tailwind? Oh, will we, will we be fast enough, though? Oh, I don't know. Only one way to find out. We match their tailwind, we dynamax, and we hailstorm their thing. Can Walrein take that? Yes! Have faith in Walrein! Have faith in the cause! Walrein has not let me down today. In fact, the other Pokemon on the team have let me down more than Walrein has. We're gonna Dynamax our boy. Girl, sorry. We're gonna Dynamax our big girl. We're going to hopefully outspeed the Drago, even in Tailwind. Nope. Ouch. But Wall Rain takes it so well. And now we match Tailwind so that we can just absorb ourselves next turn as well, which is really nice. And they should KO. I have faith in Wall Rain. Come on, show me. Show me. Wall Rain, you beautiful woman. I love you so much. Okay, nice. <laughs> We're good, boys. We're fine. We're phenomenal. We're fantastic. We're going to die to hail. But it's for the cause. It's for the cause. We're now in Tailwind. We broke your sash. And Urshifu time, right? Or Heat Ran time? Might be Heat Ran time. They have no ground moves. So let's go right into Heat Ran and just start lighting things on fire. Common question of the day. What's your favorite seal type Pokemon? For some reason, we have a couple. We have Primarina, Wolverine, Dugong. We got a couple. What's your favorite aquatic mammal Pokemon? <laughs> Volkyroni, okay. Still okay, I think. Yeah, we just light them on fire. I'm all down for the lighting them on fire plan. Then we can geyser into you. If he wants the rage pod to redirect, so be it. So be it. I am less afraid of Volcarona than I am of Tornadus. I don't know why. Tornadus kind of spooks me a little bit. It already kind of did the scary thing with uh, 
Tailwind and all that. But Air Slashes and Hurricanes still hurt from that thing. Oh. What are you doing, sir? Is he Dynamaxing his Volky? His Torn! He's going for Airstreams! I'm in danger. What the heck is happening? Dynamax Tornadus. Hey, it might work. It might do it. Thanks for the weakness policy. Does he double into my wall right here? That'll make me a little bit sad. My poor wall right never stood a chance. Airstream also probably into wall rain. Into heat rain! You messed up, kid! You messed up, wall rain! You can airstream all you want. You were already faster. <laughs> you were faster than everything I had. Here's a heat wave. And then here's a nice crit. I deserve it. And then here's a geyser right into their Dynamax, KOing the Dynamax, right? Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Lovely. All right, so here, I think it all depends on what his last is. Their own heat ran. Um, the heat ran 1v1 is a little awkward, but I have Shuckaberry. And Urshi in the back. If I have Urshi in the back, I think I have to get rid of their Rage Powder user first. Well, in general, I have to get rid of... Um, I have to get rid of the Volcarona before I can even attack with Walrein. So yeah, let's uh let's hit this Volcarona. I don't think I'd take a Giga, sadly. And we'll max guard and hopefully we do enough to Volcarona to take it out. Or at least bring it in bring it down low enough to where we could switch into our uh our Urshi. And then just sucker punch it. He goes for the Earth Power, he breaks our, uh, Koba, uh, Sucka, Shaka, Shaka Koba? Shaka Berry. We don't need it! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. I thought we would take that. Wow, Shaka Berry sucks. Let's go into Urshifu! Now what? Now I'm in danger. We could sucker punch the uh, the Volcarona, but I actually don't think uh, it is effective. Actually, yeah, let's do that. We just sucker punch until the end of time. And then we go for a nice liquidation onto the Heat Ran and hope that we outspeed. Maybe? It'll be close. At the very least, Heat Ran can't go for Heat Waves because we're in the rain. And I'm putting Volcarona in a pretty awkward position to where it either has the Giga Drain or Rage Powder, both of which is a KO. Nice, we Sucker Punch it. That should be a KO because we're Choice Banded. You burn us! Oh no. I really need Wall Range out speed now. No! Urshu avoids! Why couldn't Wall Range avoid? Eat it up, Wall Range! No! We're in danger. We're in such big danger now. <sighs> Why did that burn us, man? Walrein? <laughs> Walrein didn't deserve that. Does he know we're banded? Uh, if they figure out we're banded, we're in trouble. They have to know now that we're banded. Goes to the flash cannon. We don't take that many. That burn is gonna ruin us. We need to crit a sucker punch. That's the only way we win is by creating a sucker punch. GG though. Oh, these unlucky games. Crit, crit. Nah. This is what I get for trash talking heat ran. Oh well. If only we weren't burned, we won that game. By the way, that 30% flame body chance to hit ruined us. And also the heat wave missed on the wrong mon. Anyway. Let's get this rental code for you guys. 
And here's the Walrein tea. If you guys want to go ahead and try Walrein out on the channel, I gotta say, I'm impressed with how well Walrein does. I am very unimpressed with how well the rest of the team does. It's weird. It's like Walrein never really disappointed me today, except for maybe at the end where it didn't take a heat wave. But hey, the the for the majority of the the matches, like Urshifu got burnt when it couldn't have, when it shouldn't have gotten burnt. We have Heat Ran. That just decided it wants to get O code by Earth Power through Shuckaberry. Maybe I should have a uh, Air Balloon at that point if I'm still still gonna get O code anyway. Um, Rillaboom just died to to Dynamax Landorus. Like what happened, guys? Why was Walrein and Crobat the two best Pokemon on this team? <laughs> anyway. There's the rental code in the description if you wanted to check it out. Also, the Pokepaste is in the description as well if you want to try this out on Showdown. I'm Kevin, this is Poke Sports. Make sure to join our Discord, check out our merch store, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so because we have a new rental code every single day. Hit that bell as well so you don't miss it because these rental codes are up for a limited time only. Anyway, I'm Kevin, this is Poke Sports. Thanks, Berm. Have a great night and peace out.